Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney, and this is the new Media Minute presented by Nappy. This episode is sponsored by Digital Smiths. You can learn all about that company's advanced digital media tools at digitalsmiths.com. Now, Miles Beckett is one of the pioneers of online video. He is one of the co-founders of Equal, which is a social entertainment company, and he is also best known for being one of the creators of Lonely Girl, which really launched web video just a few years ago. With the recent news from eMarketer that online video advertising is poised to grow 52% this year, I asked Miles if he could share some thoughts for other online video creators in terms of tips and do's and don'ts to gaining a share of online video advertising and growing your audience. This is great advice for brands and producers, so check it out. Tips for working with, with uh, brands. So first I would say you really need to make sure that you're hitting their creative vision. Um, you know, you might have an idea for a show or you might have a certain uh, take that you, you have on their idea, but at the end of the day it's their campaign and you need to make sure that you're making them happy. Um, it's probably not the thing that creators want to hear, but it's a fact. Um, second, uh, you really have to make sure you're achieving their marketing objectives. Um, you know, they might like what you're doing creatively, but what they really want to see is a lift in sales or a change in behavior or whatever it might be. And you need to make sure that whatever you're doing is going to drive that marketing ROI. Um, the final thing is, you know, I, I think really partnering with a company that knows how to do it is is the best approach. If you're a producer and you're really interested in creating creative content, um, I mean, you obviously can do it. And certainly, there's access to brands uh, if you know somebody at a brand, but you know, these campaigns are very complex. You know, running a campaign like Real Women of Philadelphia or Walk of Walgreens, you know, there's literally dozens and dozens of people that are on these phone calls and in these meetings. And, um, you know, trying to balance the needs of the brand with the needs of the agency with your needs, it's, it's, it's complex. So I think finding a good partner to help with the ad sales and with um, that component of what you're doing, I think is very important. Uh, if I were to give someone three tips for, if I were to give someone three tips for, uh, what they can do to actually produce a successful show online. I would say first and foremost, you know, you really want to become an expert at all the traditional storytelling techniques. So, um, you know, creating compelling characters, writing great dialogue, uh, creating a plot that people are interested in, and then if you're, you know, actually producing it yourself, um, you know, finding good actors, getting great performances, uh, learning how to edit or finding a great editor. So, all of those traditional things. Um, that's still very relevant. Second. I would say uh, is to really focus on the interactive nature of the medium. So again, uh, you know, the internet is not TV. It's different. If you were going to take a book and you wanted to turn that book into a movie, you wouldn't just sit on stage and read the book and film yourself reading it. You would write a screenplay and then make a movie. So similarly, you need to think about the website and how the website works and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all these different things. And then think about how you can uh, make your story work in that medium. Um, and then finally, I would say that, you know, really this is like a golden age right now where if you have a great idea and you're a content producer, you can actually own your own show. So if you have an idea that allows you to produce it at a cost basis indefinitely, then you can truly create something that you own. Thank you, Miles. I'm Daisy Whitney. Friend me up on Facebook or follow me on Twitter.